Well, family, hello. I'm doing another video for you. This is also still October 3rd, 2020. And I want to tell you about a couple of my favorite toys when I was little. As you know, I love stuffed animals. I love dolls. They're always important to me. But there are two that I kept all these years, two stuffed animals. And one of them is the first stuffed animal I ever remember having. And I'm going to show him to you. He is an elephant. There he is. He's very cute and very sweet. And I've had him since I can remember. I really don't know what, how old I was when I got him. Hello. But I guess I must have been three or four years old. And I've had him ever since. And I named him when I was old enough to name him Ellie. Isn't that creative? So anyway, he's very old and very sweet. And I just recently got him out of a box so I can have him on the bed now with the other guys that are in there. The other one's a little longer story. When I was growing up, when I was really little, my grandpa Ward was my very best friend. I absolutely adored him. He would read stories to us. When we would go to visit, he'd always hide someplace to surprise us. And then he'd be so tickled to see us there. He would laugh and he played what he called the fiddle, it was a violin of some sort. But I loved visiting with him. And one day we went shopping. My mom, my sister, my grandmother, my grandfather. We went to a drugstore, but it had lots and lots of different things in it. And on one shelf, were teddy bears sitting. They were all the same kind of teddy bear, the same color, they looked the same, but they didn't look the same to me. And one of them caught my attention and I absolutely fell in love with this teddy bear. And so I, I went and got my grandfather and said, Grandpa, come here, I wanna show you this teddy bear, he's so cute. I was about five at that point and my mother said, well, maybe you'll have to wait till Christmas and see if the teddy bear comes at Christmas. And so I was so sad. But my grandpa heard me very clearly, heard what I was saying. And I said to him, Grandpa, this one's different than all the other ones. I think this is the one that's supposed to be my teddy bear. And lo and behold, a few days later, we went to visit my grandfather. And he had selected the very teddy bear that I had been so attracted to. And I still have this bear. I really have had him, let's see, I'm 69 now. So I've had him since I was five. I've had him for 64 years. My grandmother would make clothes for him. He had suits and little ties and little vests that she would knit. And when I went off to Fredonia for college, she found out the colors of Fredonia and made clothes that would match that. When I went off to Purdue for graduate school, she found out the colors of that school and made clothes for him that matched the school colors. And we came to Florida. He's right here. We came to Florida and Marty, who had gotten him Christmas sweaters before, got him a Florida outfit. So he has his shorts and his little shirt and his sun visor. He's very much real. You know probably the story, I'm sure you've all heard it. I know I read it to you boys when you were little, The Velveteen Rabbit. And it's about being real and how we all become real by being loved. And I always identified this bear because as you can see, his fur has been loved off. He heard every secret I had when I was little and his face is permanently squished on one side. <laughs> it's not even anymore because I would always hug him on this side and tell him all my secrets. He became especially important to me after my grandfather died. I was not quite seven. It was a few months before my seventh birthday when my grandfather died very suddenly. He was 57 years old and this bear became my comfort and my connection with my grandpa after all these years. So here he is. I just love him. 
and I will continue to keep him for a while. But I wanted you to know the story of these two stuffed animals that I love so much. Take care, sweeties. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.